the 10.1 inch HMI intelligent TFT LCD module used in this video is sponsored by Stone Technologies. Stone Technologies is a professional manufacturer of HMI intelligent TFT LCD modules. Depending on the application, the Stone Technologies offers industrial type, advanced type and several type intelligent TFT LCD modules available in different sizes. The one I'm using in this series of videos is the several type 10.1 inch HMI display module. For more information visit stoneitech.com. In today's episode you will learn how to control electrical loads using 10.1 inch HMI TFT LCD display module and Arduino. The control commands are sent serially from the HMI touchscreen display module through the MAX 232 board to the Arduino. The Arduino then turn on and turn off the desired load depending on the command. Using the same button you can turn on and turn off the load. For the demonstration purposes I have connected 220 volt AC light bulbs which you can replace with other AC or DC loads. Be very careful while working on the 220 volt AC as it can be really dangerous. Wear protected gloves. This project is entirely based on my previous three tutorials. In tutorial number one I explained how to design a graphical user interface using the images designed in Adobe Photoshop. How to use the button function, data variable function, hardware parameter function and how to use the tray adjustment and slider scale functions for controlling the screen brightness. While in tutorial number two I explain the commands used for reading and writing how to control the user interface without pressing the on screen buttons, how to access the brightness control register and so on. In tutorial number three I explained how to monitor a sensor in real time using Arduino and the HMI touchscreen TFT LCD display module. So I highly recommend first watch my previous tutorials and then you can resume from here. In this project I'm using the same GUI but with a little modification. This time I added the control button on the main screen image and also added the control panel images designed in Adobe Photoshop. In this episode we will cover number one complete circuit diagram. Number two Arduino interfacing with the HMI TFT LCD module and number three Arduino programming. Without any further delay, let's get started. The purchase links of the HMI TFT LCD module and other components used in this video are given in the description. As you can see, the circuit diagram is really simple. The 10.1 inch TFT LCD module and Arduino is powered up using a 12 volt adapter or battery. All the grounds are connected together. The DN pin of the TFT LCD module which is the data in is connected with the TX pin of the DV9. The D out pin which is the data out pin is connected with the RX pin of the DV9. The VCC pin of the MAX 232 board is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The ground of the MAX 232 is connected with the Arduino's ground, while the TX and RX pins of the MAX 232 board are connected with the Arduino's pin number 2 and pin number 3. Later in the programming, I will explain why am I using pin number 2 and pin number 3 as the serial board. A two-channel relay module is connected with the Arduino's pin number 12 and pin number 13. You can use a ready-made relay module or follow the same connections and build the one by yourself. It's very simple. The relays used in this project are of the type SPDT, single pole and double throw. This type of the relay has a total of five pins. Two relay coil pins, common normally open and normally closed. The one side of the relay coil is connected with the 12 volts while the other side of the relay coil is connected 
with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor. The emitter is connected with the ground while the base is connected with a 10 kilo ohm resistor. The 10 kilo ohm resistor and the transistor together are used to control the relay which is also called the relay driver. If you want to learn in detail about the electromechanical relays and relay driver design calculations then read my article available on electronicclinic.com you can find link in the description this is a seven channel relay module but out of these seven relays I'll be using only two relays one relay will be connected with the Arduino's digital pin 12 and the other relay will be connected with the Arduino's digital pin 13 the HMI TFT LCD module connection with the MAX232 board and Arduino remains the same as explained in my previous tutorial. This time only the relay module is aided. All the connections are done as per the circuit diagram. As you can see I'm using the same GOI. This time I added the control button on the main screen. So when I click on this button it takes me to the image 8 which is the control panel user interface. This time I used the return pressed key value function. I selected the variable memory as 0011 which is same for all the buttons. But the keys values are different. For the load 1 I selected 0001. For the load 2 I selected triple zero two and so on up to triple zero five you can select any value you want finally when I click on the big button it takes me to the main screen so that's all about the GUI of the HMI TFT LCD display module now let's have a look at the Arduino programming I started off with the software serial library the software serial is basically a library that enables the serial communication on digital pins other than the Arduino's default serial port. Using the software serial library we can create multiple software serial ports with speeds up to 1152 00 bits per second. In this particular project you can also use the Arduino's default serial port which is on pin number 0 and pin number 1. But trust me, this will really make you tired because each time you upload a program, you will have to remove the wires. That's why I always say never use the Arduino's default serial port for the communication with other devices. The Arduino's default serial port should only be used for the debugging purposes. I created a software serial port with the name MAX232 on the Arduino's pin number 2 and pin number 3. Pin number 2 is the RX while pin number 3 is the TX. Then I defined a variable data of the type character. Then I defined another variable my string of the type string. Then I defined pins for the relays which are connected with the Arduino's pin number 13 and 12. The load 1F and load 2F will be used as the flags. In the white setup function, I activated the serial communication and set the loads as output. Then start the while loop function. This condition means if the Arduino has received data from the HMI TFT LCD module, simply read the MAX232 port, store the character in variable data, convert the received character into the byte and add it with the my string to make the complete message. This condition means if there is no more data on the MAX232 port then execute these two functions and finally empty the myString variable. Load1 control function is a user defined function. It has no rerun type and does not take any argument as the input. This condition means if the myString ends with the 101 and load 1f is 0 then empty the my string variable and check if the load is off then turn on the load and change the load 1f status from 0 to 1. If the same button is pressed again and the load 1f is equal to 1 empty the my string variable and if the load 1 is higher then turn off the load 1 
and again change the load one if status from one to zero similarly for the load two in the same way you can do it for all the five buttons the circuit diagram and programming is available on my website electronicclinic.com I've already uploaded this program let's watch this project in action support me on patreon for more videos I hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching